Hey there, it's Ash and Happy New Year! Normally I would be filming these kinds of videos using my DSLR camera or in, you know, normal terms, my fancy camera, but I'm using my webcam this time because filming these videos, it's really difficult to edit you know, once it's all filmed and everything. So this time we're gonna give it a different shot. We're gonna do it through my OBS since, you know, I streamed. So it's gonna make making these videos a lot easier. I missed making a decoration video for Halloween and for Christmas and also tips and trick videos because it was getting so difficult to record because often the recording would stop on my phone and then it would like ruin the whole editing process. So now we're going to try to record these pocket camp videos in this format. So sorry that you don't get to see my zits in high definition. I know that's what you came here for, but sorry to break it to you. Anyways, I wanted to make this video to talk about the tips and tricks I have personally for Gulliver's ship. There may be better ideas out there, and if you have a better idea than what I do, go ahead and comment it below. Educate us. Ignore the fact that I have a million things to attend to. Ignore all that. We're just going to go to Gulliver's ship here. So whenever you pull up Gulliver's ship, you get three different island choices. And the island choices can have prizes that are anywhere from clothing, sparkle stone, snacks and snacks are great to have because they help boost your friendship with your villagers there's also leaf ticket maps that you can get and the biggest prizes are the maps that you can use to unlock new villagers so whenever you open Gulliver's ship you can see what prizes you could potentially get by clicking on the present icon next to each island so I'm gonna click on the present icon that's in the top right corner here and I can see that if I were to play this island the possible prizes I would get our sparkle stones tasty lollipops or plain lollipops. The lollipops are used for your funky villagers. And then the completion bonus is a whole different prize. So say you've gone to the island three times, then your completion bonus is that you also get another round of sparkle stones. And so then you look at this island here, the second island on our list, you know, these are the prizes you get for completing this island. And then this island at the bottom is kind of like the first one you also get rewarded sparkle stones or custard. So if you are not satisfied with the islands that you have right in the first round here, you can click on this refresh button in the top right corner and you'll see that right here the message basically is saying that once you refresh the islands you have to wait 24 hours until you can refresh it again for free. But you can refresh it, after, you know, multiple times in one day, but it costs you 10,000 bells each time you refresh. That's basically what this is saying. So I'm going to go ahead and say refresh because this will be my free refresh for the day. And so now I have different islands that I can win different rewards from. So if I check out these different islands, this island has prizes of a river throne, sparkle stones, gold treats, all good stuff. And this is another clothing island. Not too fond of the clothing islands myself. And then this is a another just snack and sparkle stones island. What I'm looking for is one of the new villager islands that just released. So I'm going to go ahead and click refresh again. I've got bells to spare. I've got 7 million bells. So I'm going to go ahead and say it's okay for me to refresh with 10,000 bells. As you can see with the one refresh I did, I've already got a gold island here and this island is full of new villagers that I can, you know, get maps of. So let's check out the prizes here. So as you can see, this is what is offered through this island here. And once I get the map, then I use Blather's treasure map <laughs> um, location thing, and that will help me unlock these villagers and be able to, you know, invite them to my campsite. And then once you collect all the prizes from this island, you can also get a leaf ticket map. So this is a pretty good island, so I'm definitely not going to refresh again. Let's just check out the other two islands I have. So I got another Isle of Style island, which means basically that uh, the rewards are clothing, which I don't really care for. And then there's also this island that allows me to earn fertilizer, sparkle stones, and gold treats. So once you find the islands that you want to collect prizes for, go ahead and click on the island itself, not the present icon. So click on the island itself, and then you'll see how many points it takes to send a ship out to that island, and then get the rewards that are there. So for this island, you need 100 points. And then you see these four items here down below, where it says suggested exports for this island, these are the items that you can send out to the island so that way you can earn prizes. Each of these items give you a different point of vantage. So you can either craft the plane package 
or the plain crate, you would have to, you know, craft quite a few of the plain packages and you would have to, you know, also craft, you know, about four of the plain crates to be able to ship this off. Or you can just send off 20 pieces of cotton or 20 pieces of paper. So how do you know what's the best option? Well, what I suggest doing is whenever you want to figure out what the best option is, you should favorite what each um, item they suggest I export is. So I've already favorited the plain package, but how you can favorite it is by this little favorite button down in the bottom right corner. So I'm gonna go favorite that, and then I'm also gonna favorite the plain crate. So let's exit out of Gulliver's ship real quick and go to our crafting menu. So in our crafting menu, there is the star icon to the far left. The star icon basically shows you all the possible crafts that you can make that you have favorited. So since I favorited the craft, uh, the plain package and the plain crate, I can see how many materials it takes to create these items. Now remember, the plain package takes like 15 points each from the export fee. So I would be having to craft a lot of these. It's a hefty cost because it's three natural essences and essences are kind of hard whenever you're first starting out. And then five wooden uh, craft pieces. That's a lot. And the plain crate is even more than that. Like it's five essences and 10 pieces of wood. So I think it's easy to say that sending off 20 pieces of cotton or 20 pieces of um, paper works, or you could even half it do 10 pieces of cotton and 10 pieces of paper. So I'll actually do that. So I'll load 10 pieces of cotton and 10 pieces of paper. And that's such a better option than creating four crates, which would take <laughs> so many essences and so many pieces of wood. So that's my tip and trick for that is, you know, look through the different things that you can export and see what costs the least amount of points, but also costs you the least amount of crafting materials that you have to use to get these prizes. So now let's take a look at the villager island here. So the villager island requires 140 points, but to get to 140 points, there's all these different crates and packages you can make. So there's the plain package, the yellow package, the gray package, and along with the coordinating crates that you could make. So we already know how much it costs to create a plain package or a plain crate. So let's go ahead and take a look at how much it is to make a yellow crate or a yellow package. And same with the gray crate and package. So the yellow package requires friend powder, historical essence, modern essence, wood supplies, and then same with the yellow crate. Obviously it costs a little more because it's bigger. The gray package requires friend powder, harmonious essence, funky essence, and wooden uh, material. And so does the gray crate, but a little bit more. Then there's the golden package that just requires a little bit of everything. This only equals 45 points. Compare that to the golden package. The golden package equals the requirement. And honestly, in my opinion, it costs less points here. So the golden package is only a little bit of each crafting material, while this, you, this is 45 five points you would have to make multiple of these there's 10 wooden pieces being used just for this crate and that's just for one crate meanwhile 10 wooden pieces with other materials get you a golden package which just um, gets you everything you need so I'm gonna go ahead and um, craft a golden package I'm gonna go ahead and load that to the ship and then I just have to wait a few hours until it comes back with one of my prizes any of the prizes are gonna be one of the four villager maps the leaf ticket map, the treats, or the tangerine gift. It's totally random. You're gonna have to send out multiple ships to be able to get all four of the villagers, maybe even more than four trips. You know, it may take you all nine trips to be able to get all of the villager maps, depending on, you know, your roles in this little game. All right, it's a few days later, but I finally completed the island. I got all the prizes from the animal island. So now that I finished that island, I'm gonna keep refreshing until I get an island that requires you to craft furniture to export to get prizes. So let's do that now. 
And like I said before, you can refresh after one and a half days to two days, but then after that refresh, if you want to refresh before that, you have to pay 10,000 vows. So not only did I get another animal treasure map island that I can send golden packages to, I also got two other islands that reward you snacks. And snacks are really good to have because you can gift them to your villagers and it makes their levels go up, which makes your level go up. So let's just take a look here. So for this top island here, you can get all the these um, custards which are good for civic villagers and then for this island you can get cheesecakes which are really good for the modern villagers. So let's see what these islands require to be able to obtain those prizes. So this is where it, you really need to compare when it comes to getting these snacks. There's all these different pieces of furniture items that you can export and 150 points is needed. Some of these only contribute 50 points and others that contribute 100. I don't really pay attention to that. What I pay attention to is, you know, I favorite everything and then I take a look in the crafting page and compare how much time and materials it takes to craft each one of these. Okay, so now that I'm on my crafting page and I'm in the favorites tab, I can see all the items that I just favorited for that island. So I'm looking at this one. This one costs 150 steel and then four cool essence and two sparkly stones. That's a lot. This item, however, only requires six steel. So I definitely think we're probably going to craft that one, but let me continue. So this also costs the same amount as the rig up here or the big amp. And so does this guitar. This guitar is less, but it's still a lot of material, 60 steel. And then there's also this drum set, not that much steel, but still this thing, this effects rack is looking pretty good so far. And then there's this electric bass. So obviously after looking at all these, your best bet is going with the effects rack because let's take a look at how much it costs on the island. So the effects rack contribute 50 points to your export, which means you would need three of them to be able to do this export. And it only costs six steel to craft it. So 18 steel versus however many crafting materials you would have to use for all the other items, I think that's the best choice. So let's go back. So we're gonna craft three of these. One other thing I would recommend looking into, say you had two items that you were looking into crafting to export. So say like the mic stand, you know, just for kicks and giggles, it also costs six steel. So what I would also recommend is if you have two items that cost the same amount of material, is compare the time. So let's take a look at how long the effects rack would take to uh, craft. It would take three minutes, as you can see on the left. Um, the reason why it says zero seconds is because I have the pocket camp plans um, that they offer, the subscription stuff that I pay for monthly, so that's why it's zero seconds. Let's see how much, how long it would take to craft the mic stand. It would take 18 hours to craft the mic stand. That's just something I recommend is not only looking at how many materials you would need to craft it, but also how much time it's going to take. So let's go ahead and craft three of these effects racks, and then once they're crafted, collect them, and then mosey on over back to Gulliver's uh, dock over here and add the effect racks to the export. So now it's going to take six hours until that comes back, but that's what I'm going to keep doing to gain all of these snacks that I can use on my civic villagers is just keep crafting these effects racks that's not a high cost of crafting material, so I'm good with that. So this island also needs 150 points to export to gain prizes from this island. So let's take a look. So we're gonna favorite all of these items so we can compare them in the crafting section. And now let's see how much material and time it takes to make each of these items. So this item only takes six steel. This item takes 30. So already the first item is looking better. This item also only takes six steel. And this item only takes take six steel. So we already know off the bat, we're not going to craft this cone, so we can unfavorite that. So let's compare these three items by time. So let's take a look. This only takes one minute to craft. This takes also just one minute. And this also just takes one minute. So honestly, I can just pick whatever. I'll just go ahead and unfavorite these and I'll just craft this little detour arrow three times and send that ship off. And now I just gotta wait a little bit until I get my cheesecake snacks. So just to reiterate and review, my tips and tricks for Gulliver's ship is to one, compare items, see whether it's a better deal to just ship off a bunch of material or craft an item. And then if you're gonna craft an item, how much 
material it's gonna take or how much time it's also gonna take. So really it's just a lot of comparing. These are the tips and tricks that I've been doing for a while now to get the most out of the Gulliver ship because I love these snacks so much along with gaining all these villager maps so that way I can have all the villagers unlocked. And if you have any tips and tricks of your own that maybe I didn't mention in this video, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Anyways, that's all I have for this video. If you have any questions about Pocket Camp, go ahead and also leave a comment down below so that way maybe I'll touch on it in another video. I've also started streaming on Twitch on Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. So if you want to come by and check that out, there's a link in the description down below for that. And if you are in the market for new prints in your home or just some new art to decorate your home with, I have a print shop full of photography prints that I print myself and I really like them and I have them hanging around in my house so maybe you would enjoy having them in your home too. I know I would love to see that. Anyways, that's all I have for today and I'll see you in the next one.